This video focuses on the types of substances that can dissolve in one another. So first, if the solute is able to be dissolved, we call that soluble. When both substances are liquids, then we call it miscible. I like to think mixable. If a solute is not able to dissolve in a solvent, then we call it insoluble. But if you're referring to two liquids, then we call it immiscible. So for example, if you can dissolve a solid, it's soluble. And if it does not dissolve, it's insoluble. If you can dissolve two liquids, mix them together, then it's miscible. If they will not mix together, then it's immiscible. So is water polar or a nonpolar molecule? And the answer to that is it is polar. Um, there's a partial negative side and there's a partial positive side. And so there's always kind of a pull of electrons towards the negative end. So it is a polar molecule. So with that said, here's a rule to follow when trying to determine when substances will dissolve in one another. Like dissolves like. And what that refers to is polarity. If you have a polar substance, then another polar substance will dissolve in it. If you have a nonpolar substance, then something else that's nonpolar will dissolve in it. But if you have opposites, nonpolar, trying to dissolve in polar will not happen. So like dissolves like. They have to have the like polarity in order to dissolve in one another. Now, when it comes to ionic compounds like salt, table salt, one number one example, they're most soluble when they're in water. Uh, polar covalent compounds are gonna be soluble in water as well. But if you have a nonpolar covalent compound, then it's gonna be insoluble in water. So water and oil will mix when dishope is added. Why is that? So here you have water and oil in two separate layers, but then they've added soap and then they mixed everything. And now you can see everything's in one layer together. It's because soap has a polar end and a nonpolar end, which brings both layers together. And we call this an emulsion when that happens, when they normally are immiscible, but then a surfactant like soap is introduced and now the layers have merged, that becomes an emulsion. So water is polar, oil is nonpolar. That's why they don't mix. And then if you add a detergent like soap, which has one polar in and one nonpolar in, it causes the water and oil to mix and form an emulsion. The emulsion is a colloid of a liquid in a liquid. So let's determine what's polar, what's nonpolar. Here's what we know. Water is a polar solvent. So water is polar. And then it says acetone is a nonpolar solvent. So acetone here is nonpolar. From what we understand, like dissolves like. So what we want to know is, are these polar or nonpolar? So since water is polar, then if it's going to be soluble with water, it must also be polar. So since whatever this is, is soluble in water, it is polar. And since it's soluble in water, this one down here, it is also polar. If it is insoluble in water, then it's going to be nonpolar. And this is insoluble in water, so it's going to be nonpolar. Now let's look at it from this other example. If you have acetone, which is nonpolar, if it's soluble in acetone, it must also be nonpolar. So this is nonpolar, and this is nonpolar. And if it's insoluble in the acetone, then it must be the opposite polarity of acetone. So this must be polar. And that means this must be polar. So if you we'll look at our diagram here, it lines up. Nail polish is nonpolar. So we'll put this as nonpolar. Ethanol is, in both cases, polar. And it should. They should match. Because ethanol is either polar or nonpolar. It's not both at the same time. Naphthalene. It's insoluble in water, which makes it nonpolar, soluble in acetone, which makes it nonpolar. So naphthalene is nonpolar. And then urea, because it's soluble in water, which is polar, and insoluble in acetone, which is nonpolar, that makes it polar. And so now we've determined the polarity of each of our solutes based on whether or not they would dissolve in our solvent. Remember, like dissolves like. So if it's soluble, then it must be like the solvent. If it's insoluble, it must not be like the solvent.
All right, down here, tell me if the following are soluble, insoluble, miscible, or immiscible. So if water's polar and alcohol is polar, they will be miscible because like dissolves like. Gasoline, nonpolar, oil, nonpolar, those will be miscible because like dissolves like. Water is polar, oil, nonpolar. They're not alike, so this is immiscible. And then salt is ionic, and because water is polar, that is going to be soluble. And really, in real life, salt does dissolve in water, and so that makes it soluble.